Got it. All right. Hi, everybody. Just, I put the link in the notes. Thanks. <clears throat> So Yahui, I've had a chance to sh show some people Compass here. Uh, not really today, but uh, I can represent uh, uh, people from Compass. No, but I was able to show it to some people here at the conference and talk about it. So that's good. Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, today in today uh, I I post uh, one topic in today's agenda. Uh, first, day is about uh, collaboration between Chaos uh, and uh, Compass. Perfect. Um, and uh, it's a uh, it's uh, in the meaning of uh, uh, two communities uh, formal or official collaborations. So uh, I have some ideas to I would like to discuss with you guys to see how, how it's going. So Done. first, uh, so currently, um, uh, you know, in Compass, we uh, uh, last meeting, I already demo uh, how, it, how it works. And uh, uh, at the end of yesterday, we have uh, collected more than like uh, 5,000 repositories exist in GitHub and Getty. And uh, we will keep uh, a, a collecting more data from GitHub and Giti, of course. <coughs> and finally, we will uh, collect uh, all the repositories exist in uh, Giti, of course, because you know we have um, Giti support on that in China. And also, we will collect as more uh, GitHub repository as we can. So currently, uh, that's what kind of data sites uh, we plan to have. And um, the matrix model we have, as you can see that, maybe I can share some my screen. Probably. Oh yeah, you can, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, here, screen. yeah. That's great. And you can see that, uh, yeah, almost 5,000, uh, more or less the same, same thing, but uh, the things is that um, the metrics model we have is all the metrics model we have, we already got uh, in chaos. So as I, I, I think I mentioned earlier that all the metrics model, I think we would use the metrics model produced by chaos, that fourth thing. And in the future, uh, if there are more metrics model uh, proposed from chaos, uh, even if it's not mature enough, just some ideas or some thinkings from OSPOs, from any other peoples uh, in chaos, uh, we plan to set up a, a metrics model beta version in Compass. To help. What, is, what does that mean? Yeah, Metrics I can model explain. Beta version. Yeah. Uh, um, so for some already mature uh, metrics model, we would deploy it on the comp compass uh, to use it on all the repositories we collected in compass. And uh, for the beta metrics model, we need to do some try to see how it works if it's going uh, going well. Uh, if we need to adjust it based on the real world data. So we would uh, set up another new page or a similar things to check, uh, to have a chance to, to try out this new metrics model generated or produced from, from chaos. And uh, we will see the result and, to give, and uh, you will get feedback, of course, by your own, you will see the uh, some uh, some new metrics model, uh, how it works, if it's um, uh, already meet our requirement, because we have some um, um, scenarios of this behind this metrics model. If this metrics model's result uh, verified by this real world data has met this metrics model um, uh, purpose, 
we can accept it uh, uh, as a uh, official uh, model uh, to uh, deploy this model on all the uh, compass uh, repositories. That's our th and that's my thinkings, and uh, I already get uh, agreement uh, from Compass and from Gitty. So, and uh, you don't have to worry so much about the deployment work and the development work. Uh, we would help to uh, to uh, to implement this matrix model and uh, and uh, to deploy it on, on the compass so so thank you <laughs> so i mean removing the hopefully you can hear me okay i mean removing yeah. moving yeah makes sense to me too um helping with the infrastructure and real world deployment as you're saying would be yep. amazing so um so do you think, Yehui, that it would really just take maybe, you know, the definition markdown file? Because those are pretty easy to generate. Uh, yeah, about? actually, um, we already have many new metrics model exist in chaos uh, metrics yeah. model working group. And uh, if such data is available uh, on the GitHub or Getty, we would, uh, uh, we it should be very easy for us to collect uh, such data and and uh, and, um, and to generate a new matrix model. Of okay. course, we have some uh, algorithm, as you can see, and uh, we use HP to to calculate the weight. But um, if this new model have a, a new algorithm, we would also uh, very happy to to use this okay. uh, new algorithm. So if I put, can you click on that link that I just put in the chat, Yehui? It's the spreadsheet. Uh -huh. So based on, I've been cleaning up this spreadsheet to track well what we have. Uh -huh. And so, so right now, like you can see the ready in progress needs work. Mm -hmm. So what do you think would be the kind of the, the spot where it would be acceptable for you to start working on a metrics model in Compass? I think uh, such decision uh, uh, should not only be made by, by, by myself. Okay. I think such decision could, should be made by our working group together. And also, okay. uh, we, we, we also need to consider and uh, uh, discuss with uh, Compass, but I think that part is no problem. Uh, once we think in, in Chaos Working Group, think, okay, uh, such metrics model, it's, um, it's good to verify with, uh, with, uh, uh, with real world data. And um, in Compass, in, in Compass community, we can help to uh, implement this Okay. Matrix model, and uh, as I mentioned, um, for this part, um, this is official. Uh, I mean, the already deployed uh, uh, matrix model, and uh, we can uh, set up a new page for the matrix model beta beta version for this uh, type. Okay, and uh, we we can verify that. But uh, we, before it's uh, mature enough, uh, before we achieve the agreement on this uh, matrix model, we would not deploy it, deploy it. But after we made decision, okay, we all think this matrix model is is um, is is um, ready to go, and we can deploy it. Okay. Uh, on the so then it would be deployed on the main on the main page. Yes. So would we just would we just follow the process that we've established for defining a metrics model with the various different parts? And once a model is defined, there is a decision about whether or not to include it in Compass. Would that be? Am I following correctly? Yeah, I think mm -hmm. most of the part is the same as we defined already. And uh, yeah. I also think because we, um, 
in most uh, in most uh, matrix model, we have a definition. Uh, that part is ready. So mm -hmm. I think uh, after this this one is ready. I think we can consider in that uh, if it's uh, ready to go uh, to deploy it to, to verify this metric model with the real world data. I think, um, for example, <coughs> uh, I don't know, maybe this funding. And okay, uh, once we have this funding uh, already uh, exists in the GitHub repository. Uh, on the chaos, and um, we can we can follow in the the, the uh, collaboration between these two communities okay. to say okay if it's ready to go to verify it. <clears throat> does that answer your question, Sean? It does. Yep, it, okay. it's exactly what I thought. We're just following the process we laid out. And this just is we were just including a compass. Okay. piece to how that stuff gets into compass <clears throat> hey can you yuhui can you go back to the compass tab the oss compass tab this so the, yeah that one the yeah. no go up to the top hmm. so the metrics model tab at the top yep so this would be once once a metric model is deployed kind of not out of it when it's deployed out of beta would this be the basically the definitions of each of the metric models as coming from the chaos so if you click on code quality guarantee yeah yeah as you can see uh here we just uh, list uh, the, all the metrics model exact the definition how we okay. collect the data and wait and threshold and for the insights we didn't um, uh, Copy paste from chaos metrics model. Okay. But uh, we, we already list the reference. I see. Okay. Th this one. And okay. uh, I showed the contributor from my backend and For metrics sure. model. Con okay. Contributor. Yeah. So, okay. So then if you scroll up on the, no, go back to that page. Yeah. I have more question. So go. So this helps describe how the model is actually represented in that single graph. Is that right? Uh, this is the, uh, uh, actually we have one model general result. And also we have uh, uh, each of single matrix result for yeah. this matrix model. For yep. example, here we have, uh, uh, yes, let me check. Okay, this is the uh, code quality. I think uh, this is a code quality uh, result. Yep, exactly. And uh, if you check the code quality, the, the detail of the metrics, you will find that. So one of the questions that I have, and I think that's going to get asked is how do you take the individual metrics that I'm looking at right here? Mm -hmm. So like is maintained PR issue, link ratio, all that kind of stuff. How mm -hmm. do you combine those into the metric model above like how does yeah we we are we also list the algorithm here so that's the algorithm so that's helpful okay yeah yeah, yeah this is a way how we calculate and this is the uh, the calculate the process okay the input data and the result this and is this great is the consistent okay. test result and the so threshold the... yeah okay no, this is great because this is, I think this is a question that's going to come up. Like, how do you aggregate the five or six metrics into a single? Into yeah, a single we, we, we will introduce the detailed algorithm uh, in this metrics model because I, I, I'm still working on the documentation part. Okay. Uh, all the documentation would, uh, would uh, uh, put it here. Okay. And uh, you will say that. And um, I will add uh, each of single new algorithm. Okay. Uh, for 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 all also the in, this, in the GitHub repository here. Yeah, and uh, also the implementation, uh, because it's open source. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you will know how how it works, how it uh, implement by by the different. Uh, okay, so can you go back to the metrics models on Compass? Uh, yeah. yeah. That one. Can you yeah. go to the top again? Scroll up to the no, just scroll. Yeah. Yep. Um, so, so you might, it might, 
you might want to put like code quality guarantee algorithm or some 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 language there that says this is this is the algorithm by which code quality guarantee is um, yeah yeah that's a really good good idea i think we can do that okay it, and, it uh, wouldn't be hard. Uh, yeah because i'm i'm planning to put it on um uh, under this this section okay uh, matrix model algorithm it's including three part why it's a weight okay why it's a threshold and the other is a uh, the the you know the 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 algorithm how to calculate mod, uh, multiple matrix okay. into the one no that's yeah. that's great okay all right cool uh sean or elizabeth do you have other no this is very very cool yeah, I was going to ask about the weights, but I see that it's linked to, <coughs> linking to something that explains that more. So I'll just look at that. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, because I'm thinking that, uh, 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 as you know, that we already communicate uh, the relationship between the chaos and the compass. Uh, I think um, we already know why we uh, want to create this compass. In China, and uh, and uh, we uh, still uh, want have a close connection between yep. these two communities, of course. So that's why uh, that's um, uh, I just propose such uh, ideas or suggestions to see how it works between two two communities about this matrix model, because I'm thinking that. Um, uh, in our matrix model working group in chaos and uh, in the future in OSPO working group, we would have more ideas about the matrix and the matrix model. And, I would think uh, that be never ending at some point, yeah. you know. Yeah. So we, we need to have a chance to verify the, those matrix model and the matrix. So uh, I think Compass could provide such capability to do That's so. That's great. And I also, just on that, on the OSPO note as well, Sean and I had a chance to connect with Anna, who is the program manager for the to-do group. She's here. Mm -hmm. And so we can continue, we're continuing to foster that relationship to bring metrics models from OSPOs. So that's good. Mm -hmm. Yep. I have a question for Matt and Sean. Do you all yeah. think that there should be a place on our website um, called like Chaos Partners or something like that where we can link out to, to folks like Compass who are using the metrics models or, or metrics in practice um, in the real talk world? talk about this. I'm trying yeah, to, what would no. be agree to do there? Yeah, I mean, I don't, uh, of course. I think I think the answer is yes. And so um, there is currently Compass right now. And then, I mean, there is kind of at a, at a smaller degree that was kind of Daniel's question around Cauldron. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. It's, it's not quite the same as Compass, but- No, it's, it's very kind of different. In the, yeah, but in that, in that same, like these are, yeah. this, is, this is a software SaaS solution that is, you know, built from chaos technology and bringing forward chaos metrics. So yeah, I think I think that is. Let's think about how to appropriately do that. Tribute or link out, yeah, promote yep, exactly. Promote, I guess, yeah. Yep. So friends of chaos. Actually, Thank you so much, Elizabeth. I, that's the also I I'm I'm want to discuss with you. I'm also thinking if it's possible to create a link between the collaboration communities like uh, yeah. Compass, Coaching, and To Do Group. So that would be yeah. very very great. Yeah, we probably actually that's that's also true too, Elizabeth, with the To Do Group because now that we're an affiliate, associate member, whatever it might be, we might want to. I know it not just be like a logo exchange, but like somehow draw that forward too in, in the chaos. And then all in too, like all in would maybe yeah. fit. Like here, you know, are, like, here are some like key friends partners. Of chaos. <laughs> yeah, key partners yeah. that we have. And um, the work is maybe organized outside of the chaos, like the core work is outside of the chaos project, but 
without the chaos project like a lot of this core work wouldn't go forward either yep. so um the, okay yeah no i so the answer is 100 percent yes and i think it's it's how to do that in a in a meaningful way i'm almost wondering if um you know the the new website elizabeth yeah we have those banners going across you know right now we have three yeah if we could have a, a fourth which is like friends of chaos yeah so if you let me um i don't remember i don't know if kevin i don't know if it screws up things for kevin but <laughs> i'll just throw it in there so <laughs> Just sort of a whole new section of the words. It's fine. It's fine. Well, I mean, we, need to, we need to coordinate with. Um, I mean, it could be a simple <laughs> a web page, and we might want to coordinate yeah. with some of the folks from Chaos Africa who had done some of the design work. Yeah. And the the banners that we have. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, because you, you as you know that. Uh, <laughs> OSS Compass, we, we have this website as our community page. Yep. And uh, mm -hmm. here we already uh, give a special thank you to, to Chaos and Grim Lab. Yep. And uh, also we can create another um, banner to say, okay, um, we, we have uh, set up a collaboration <clears throat> with the Chaos community uh, to say uh, uh, and how it works. And the yeah. way we broadcast that. Yeah. yeah, I like that because it's kind of like the conversations we had with the to do group that it was it's more than just a logo exchange where we yeah. where we yeah. just recognize yeah. it, but it's a mm -hmm. deliberate representation of the relationship that we have, like kind of describing that relationship and, and what it yeah. looks like. I like that. Okay, that's great. Yeah, and I don't have a great answer for you, Yahui, on how to get that done, but the it will be solved so yeah we can <clears throat> then i can i can bring back the positive feedback uh, to my friends in kt and in, in compass yeah. <laughs> thank you so much yeah and uh, yeah and i, I think uh, except for the you know the logo uh, on the these two communities website and the earlier suggestion I mentioned, we can we can start right, right now to considering mm -hmm. uh, what is next metrics model is ready to, yeah. to be verified. And uh, I also need to uh, uh, discuss with the Compass community that uh, we need to set up a separate page to show the, this beta. Metric, the beta version. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so that that is really great because that allows me to think about metrics models a little bit differently, and I think we can think about them a little bit faster now mm -hmm. in the chaos mm -hmm. project. To be honest with you, mm -hmm. because if I think one of our uh, challenges was the implementation component was always kind of lagging. You know what I mean? The yeah. the implementation yeah. folder was always kind of a, a hold up for us. <laughs> But if at this point we can just focus on definitions and the metrics that would be involved, that would really, I think, speed yeah. things up from a model's perspective. Yeah, yeah I agree. Yep, yep. I think uh, I think we can we can use um, many uh, achievements from from universities like uh, like you guys, Shane and uh, and Matt, and also from professors from uh, from China's universities. So. And uh, and all the results, um, I mean the very uh, beta version, we will feedback to the chaos. Uh, of course, it's a public data because, as you can see, that we have a, a privacy yeah. policy and uh, term of use, and uh, we will not le leak any of the personal data on such yeah. uh, uh, compass community. Uh, and uh, also, uh, for the other people, maybe in, in China. They also uh, have some new ideas about, about metrics model. We would uh, promote them to uh, to submit their ideas to to chaos. Agreed. They could maybe we should have like an issue template in the metrics yeah. model yeah. that would allow us to capture that. Exactly. Okay. And like yeah, after after we discuss the in chaos metrics model together, 
uh, I mean, in this group, uh, okay, th this one is good, good to go. And uh, I mean, we, we, we can, we can just use Compass to verify such new so then, metrics. So then, Yuhui, do you think that um, the repository that I'm looking at, or the org that I'm looking at right now, mm -hmm. would it be this org that would kind of hold the implementation details of the models and that the chaos metrics model repository uh, only hold the definitions? Uh, we actually have uh, 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 GitHub. Uh, you, you can, as you can see, <clears throat> We will record all the uh, all the repositories uh, uh, data we already collected under this repository, and uh, we have uh, simple repositories here. And you can see that uh, we have Getty and GitHub, and GitHub this is the uh, metrics. Uh, uh, I mean the repository we already collected, but uh, this is not all the data. Now all the information we proposed. Uh, we already collected because we use some backend to collect the data uh, yep. quickly. Okay. Uh, this, this, uh, but uh, I mean, in the next week, we will to uh, upload all the repositories information we are we already collected into this uh, project, and uh, to let everybody to see how many repositories we oh, already collected. Right. Okay. And like in our beta version, and in our beta version, we can choose um, maybe uh, this metrics model is specific for some for one of uh, the repositories. Yeah, one well, of okay. the repositories or some areas like uh, deep learning, deep learning or, or OS uh, operation system distribution or database. You can choose for that. Okay. Or because Ruth, all, or Ruth yeah. We can, yeah. there's, <laughs> I see the Ruth Ikega repository. We can run <laughs> specific. Yeah, the Ruth. Let's check out Ruth's work here. <laughs> yeah. I really I, think I, you're I, watching this. <laughs> Jesus, actually, so nothing else. <laughs> Close dollar we VR. Can, we can help Ruth to broadcast his results. This is her personal repositories. As, see, uh, as you can see, and uh, we already collected the data. That's but, great. Uh, yeah. So, so Yuhui, do you think that this will change the template for the metrics model at all? That we can simplify it down to just a definition and the metrics? I agree. <laughs> I okay. agree. But uh, we, we need to, uh, we, also, we need to mention that uh, the algorithm is uh, is welcome, but uh, it's not. Uh, it's option. definitely not. Yeah, it's that uh, uh, absolutely just an optional choice. Okay, and we're we're welcoming the new algorithm, of course. Okay, and I think if we could, I mean, if we could ever update the metrics models to point to the algorithm that's located on Compass as well, I mean, that mm -hmm. could also solve the problem. You know what I mean? We could just say the algorithm is available here if you want to see how this is deployed because you already have that. Exactly. Yeah, that, yeah. Would, that would be much easier because then I think too, it would help um, if we're working with OSPOs and there's a metrics model that they would like to see, I think mm -hmm. speed, speed will help a lot to, to continue yeah. to engage people in the metrics model discussion. And yeah. if if we can develop a metrics model, say in two weeks, you know, around mm -hmm. inclusiveness or welcoming that or whatever it might be. Um, yeah, 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 exactly. That would, I think yeah. that would help a lot. Yeah, after after they have a pop, uh, they, they pop up new ideas of metrics model, we can help yeah. them. Because after the beta version, the whole design and the implementation work is done on Compass. Yeah. To introduce a new metrics model, it should be very quick. Okay. Okay. Because then we can do the definition work quickly in the chaos project and kind of shift it over. And that would be cool to see that. Great. Yep. So I think, uh, is anybody taking notes? <laughs> I've Are just been you? enjoying the conversation, Matt. I have not. I, I, I dropped a few things in the minutes. Yeah. <laughs> me an add whatever item. I missed. Can you give me two action items, Elizabeth? One is to sure. build a metrics template to, I'm sorry. To build an issue template 
I'm sorry, let me make sure template that would allow people to submit a metrics model. You know what I mean? Postal. Mm -hmm. And some, I'll figure out what that looks like. And then another action item for me would be to modify the um, metrics model template to be a little bit uh, more concise so that we can just really get the definitions out quickly. Yep, yep. I, but, <clears throat> but I think, uh, Matt, I, I still want to, after this metrics model is done, it's verified. Uh, we we encourage people to to give some data insights on, on this metrics model. Yep. Yeah. So then it would be kind of a yeah. So I wouldn't I wouldn't remove the implementation part, but I could maybe make that deliberate in the model template that you don't yep. have to do the implementation now, but once it's <clears throat> implemented form, please either link to the implementation details on Compass or provide them here in the model. Whatever we yep. choose. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I can. I can. Those. Those. those that'll be kind of fun, actually. Those are good things. Okay. So I hope such collaboration is some kind of solid collaboration between Chaos and uh, Compass. And, That's uh, great. Okay. Yeah. This is great. All right. Super. Look, we always come to agreement on all things. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful partnership. Um, so, Yuhui, do you think that the in the GitHub repository for Compass, so if you go uh -huh. back to that, do you think <coughs> at least for the time being that you would maintain that repository yourself, or do you see any of those contributions coming to the Chaos Project? Either answer is fine. I'm just trying to think through well, how we well, think it's, this. It's welcoming because I'm thinking because what I just mentioned that uh, in Compass community would uh, responsible for all the implementation and the, and the deployment work in Compass. But uh, if if other people from Chaos or any other uh, areas, they would like to contrib contribute to Compass to help us to verify this new matrix model is really welcoming. Okay. <clears throat> so at least your intention right now is to keep the two organizations separate. Yep. Okay, yep. that's fine. I totally just want to understand the workflow. Okay. Yeah. And uh, as you know that we have Slack channel to help people outside of China to yep. easily communicate with each other. And the WeChat in China, yep. it's more, uh, popular uh, I, I am I will I'm gonna add myself to the slack channel for OSS compass right now no, Gail could just uh, already gave us some uh, wonderful feedback he also recorded a three minutes video to try out all the metrics model on the compass to give us some suggestions. Perfect. Okay, good, good. <laughs> yeah. Excellent, yeah. That, Georg's a helper that way. He's a caring nurturer. <laughs> he, he is a good, he's a good, he is also a very good resource for giving feedback on stuff like this. Yeah. You don't have to, you don't have to take everything he says at, like as a to-do list, but I think you will have some good perspective. <clears throat> Okay, this is great. Um, so then I think maybe my other small action item is I, I wanna go back through, if you go to the spreadsheet, Yahui. Yep. I wanna go back through, now that I kind of know the trajectory. The, mm -hmm. Yeah. The, to take a look at <coughs> our, our yellow rows, because mm -hmm. maybe some of these are ready at this point and maybe some of our blue rows like community welcomingness, contributor funnel. There's also the one in there that we seem, remember the contributor net recommendability. Mm -hmm. So like, I think some of these could probably move forward a little faster now. Yep. So I'll also take that on. You can give that as an action item to me too. Cause I, I kind of like looking at these to think about which of these models might be more, might be closer to ready than I thought prior. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. I have a quick question. 
So originally when we were building these models, uh, we were trying to limit the number of metrics in there to like four or five, but it seems like that might not be the case anymore. It seems like we could add more in. What do you think, Yehoi? Yeah, actually we have one matrix model like more than like uh, seven or eight metrics. I think the number of metrics in the metrics model doesn't have such size limited actually okay. for current uh, algorithm. Interesting. Okay. Is that my, we might go back and kind of look at some of the ones we've done already then too, to see if there were some that we cut out, but maybe we could put them back in. But yeah, I, I agree because now that we have the ability to see them as just aggregated models, like it, it to me, it matters less so anymore that we have six, four, six, eight, ten, because you can get a single view of a metric model. And so, by the way, just so you all know, too, I've been talking a lot about metrics models here at the Linux Foundation Member Summit as a way to provide context to metrics. Everybody loves it. Yeah, Absolutely. Not surprisingly. Yeah. Loves the model idea that any one metric alone, not so useful, but together um, it, it starts providing context. So anyway, um, so yeah, I agree with you, Elizabeth, that we could probably take a look at at more than just four or five per model. Because I think like, uh, I can speak to the community welcomingness that was supposed to be mine and Sean's. And it just got overwhelming because there, we did have a lot more in there. And then we, I, at least from my point of view, it was hard to know what to put out, what to leave in. So um, I think it just kind of stagnated there because we had all of these we listed, did. but then it was like, yeah. Right, that we is did a lot settle. Right. We did settle on three to five as general guideline, but that I think was after the metric models that Yahoo has implemented were mm -hmm. designed. So yeah, now like we're saying we can do whatever. Mm -hmm. Well, so I think there is a, you know, yes, we can do whatever. I might suggest that we think about if, if we end up throwing eight or 12 metrics in every metrics model, <clears throat> are we developing that focused collection that's on, on a specific point, or are we increasing confusion as the number of metrics models grow? I don't have the answer to that. It's, I think, just a question we want to ask ourselves. That's fair. That's a good yeah, question. Yeah, that is fair. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But see, now look, like you can look at community welcomingness that Yahui has up here. It's like, it's like it's sort of approachable all of a sudden. You know, it's back to being <laughs> moderately doable at this point. Thank you, Hui. Yeah, <laughs> you, you're helping. <laughs> Hui solves yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah, Hui solves everything. <laughs> no, no, no. I think uh, I like collaborations with the community. <laughs> <laughs> and and also there's two more th small things. And uh, do you think this two metrics model is ready to create a pull request? That's on you, Sean. I'm sorry, I didn't follow. What's the specific? Oh, the uh, I have to convert it to our agreed to format, which has taken five months at this point because we did <laughs> all the development. In a, we did all the development in a different format, and I haven't had a developer able to dive in and figure it out yet. So, no, but really, it's just that is on it, me. But it doesn't. It, it, but at this point, it should be very simple. Um, so, Yuhui, I, yeah. I did go through both of these. From it's a, really just so, dumping the JSON that creates. Uh, no, 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 no. We don't need to do that no. anymore. This is just getting the definitions for these two things. Okay. So yeah. this is oh. if you just click on the link. Which what are we? Which one are we talking about now? Community I'm service support. <clears throat> yeah. Oh yeah, so, I I went through and reviewed these, reviewed all the changes for the last meeting. Um, okay. I've already reviewed this. This is work I did before the last meeting. So yeah, then the answer you who and they're ready for okay. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> yeah, I mean because I guess, almost um, all the suggestions are, are already accepted from from my oh, I see, machine. I see. So I haven't I have not gone through after you accepted the changes to make sure um that it's all still that good. It's, that it's co yeah, like there aren't like little weird typo things. Um, yep, I can exactly. do that tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, I don't need to wait two weeks to do that. I just um, could you then issue the pull request with these, Sean? 
Uh, I would just be able. Um, well, I'd have to cop. I would have to create the markdown version of this a little bit, which is fine. I can do that. That might take me more than a day, but well, they should be in markdown. Not more than a day. They, yeah, they should no. be in markdown well, like, already. Like the images need to be converted and put in an images directory and stuff. But I, I'll work on doing that tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. It won't take me that long. It's just finding time in the just midst of the down meeting. Or maybe you and I can yeah. just find time here and just do it together. I can, yeah. I mean, I'm it. thinking I'll just, sessions I'm less interested in, I'll just work on this. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. But yes, Yuhui, I took a look at them too, and I think they're ready from a language perspective. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Okay. So... I have no more topic today from my from my part. Yeah, I, this was, I mean, and I you answered you, yeah. The one topic I had was about the algorithms that were used, and that you answered that question. That was the only thing that I had yeah. really at that. <laughs> that so, um, okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap it up. And look, it got dark here. Snow is still still snowing. Oh, just, yeah. just so you all know, okay. still very yeah. pretty when the sun. <laughs> I did get a picture of the mountains with as the sun was rising this morning before it started to snow. So I have a very clear picture that it is like I, I know what I can't see. <clears throat> so Yuhui, this is it's about we're supposed to get about 45 centimeters of snow. Uh -huh. <laughs> Rarity. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> major, major <laughs> snowstorm time. Well, <laughs> Yeah, so we're going to be stuck here tomorrow. I'm going to go snowshoeing. Do you know snowshoeing? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. That, I know. Yeah, so I'm going to go snowshoeing tomorrow. So <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be made a really big snowshoeing. <laughs> I'll, put some pictures in, I'll put some pictures in Slack for yeah. people on my snowshoe adventure. And if I get lost, yeah. you'll sort of know where I am. <laughs> uh, I, I, can, I can see right now that it's actually the wind has picked up significantly. <coughs> we won't be able to come yeah. get you though matt so sorry that's okay you can you can you can point people to my to my general whereabouts <laughs> i think I, I think the parking lot is empty enough that we could probably uh do donuts in the camaro i rented yeah. and actually i've heard from two different people here that they've seen bears yeah that doesn't make you want to go snowshoeing for what it's worth Oh yeah. No. <laughs> Snowshoeing in a blizzard with bears. Off I go. Yeah. Could possibly go wrong. It was nice knowing you, Matt. Later, Maybe everybody. A, Good job. I forgot to inform you that <laughs> Matt died because of his sense of adventure. That's why <laughs> Matt wants all these action items, because he's like, ah, that's fine. Oh, I'll just do it. sign me up. I'm gonna be gone anyway tomorrow. <laughs> it's not gonna be Matt, not gonna matter when I'm bear food. <laughs> <laughs> We're not taking them, Matt. We're not taking all your action items. You yeah, have to come back. <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, this is great. Thanks, right. Louis, for the update. Thanks, this everybody. Is wonderful. And we'll see you all next time. See you. All right, bye everybody. Bye-bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye.